We want to continue this morning. We're speaking now to the mother at the center of a controversy that we've covered. Her children now kicked out of their private school due to her advertising her OnlyFans account on the back of her vehicle and driving that vehicle on school property. All right, so this morning we are joined by Michelle Klein to talk to us more about this. Michelle, it is good to see you. This good morning. morning. We're kind of far, but I'll shake your Thanks hand. For me. All right, so yeah. I want to get right into this here okay. about this controversy. How long had the sticker been on your car before it was noticed by a parent? Approximately two years. And had you had any issues prior to that two no, years? No, ma'am, nothing. So okay. they came to you and, and said, "This is we've got a problem, there's been a complaint about this, and then how long ago was that? Uh, it was approximately three weeks ago. I actually got an email from an angry parent that had found me on Facebook, and she reached out to me, and it wasn't until the next day that I got an email from the school saying I couldn't have my car on the property any longer. So is it just one angry parent, or did that then incite other parents to that's be upset with That's the only you? parent that's came to me with concerns. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sure, obviously, you know, that there's more out there that maybe have issues, but that's the only one that has brought it to my it, attention. And the school came to us, and they said if she removes this, she can come back. Did you consider that? Where was that thought process? They had said if I removed it, and I removed all social media, um, that the last, that's the most recent thing when they expelled the kids, they so said. So, so let's talk about that because you mentioned removing all social media. Mm -hmm. What is OnlyFans? And you know, without getting into a whole lot of detail, what do you do on OnlyFans that could get these parents upset? OnlyFans can be used for a lot of different things. Uh -huh. um, for me, particularly, it is explicit material, just my husband and I. Um, but I'm not saying that. It's just simply a link on my car. Um, and even then, it's blocked by a paywall, and you have to have ID to get through. You know, there's other websites out there that don't even require that, that have a lot easier access to see explicit material before mine would. How long have you been doing OnlyFans? Uh, about three years now. And what made you start doing it? I'm so sorry, Rick. I'm just so curious about this. What made you start doing it? Um, well, my husband and I have always, you know, had the little kinkier lifestyle um, where we've just kind of, you know, we always share pictures between the two of us and, and that sort. So we were never really shy to have a camera in the room with us. And then when OnlyFans kind of took off around COVID, you know, it seemed like you started hearing a lot more about it and a lot more people started doing it and it seemed to be more acceptable. So we figured we would just give it a shot. And at first we started very mild, just, you know, editing, covering faces. And then we just kind of said, you know, if we're gonna do it, let's just go for it. So. We want to read the statement from the school as well. They had basically said, uh, they want people, it's not queued up. So I'll just go on to the next part of that. They were basically it's saying it's right. a private school at this point. All right, so here's mm -hmm. the statement. The school said in part, a Liberty Christian Preparatory School is taking appropriate action to protect the innocence of children. There's an argument as well. One, that's part of it, but also it's a private school. They can make their their own rules. And the school mm -hmm. also went on to say before I, I, I let you reply that, that consuming, producing, distributing, or advertising pornography is inconsistent with the teachings of the Bible, the church, and LCP. Obviously, this is a religious school, right? Correct. So did that come into play at all in terms of your thoughts about it? It did. Okay. Um, we had had the kids, they have been going there for five years now. So prior to us getting into this, they were already there. And when we first got into it, it was very kind of secretive, so no one really knew until the decal about two years ago. But even then, it didn't seem like it hindered anything. Mm -hmm. There was not really any issues brought about it. No one mentioned it to us at the administration. So we just kind of kept rolling with it. And honestly, until the last three weeks, it hasn't even been a big deal in our family. You know, our kids don't talk about it, make a big deal about it. No one's really said much about it until now. It, now the your, kids yeah, have to switch exactly, schools yeah. at this point. So right. how tough is that? I mean, obviously, you, you could have gone a different way. But the kids who've been there five years right. now have to go to a different school. You're going to homeschool, I know. Right, right. We had already intended on probably at the end of the school year, you know, obviously reconsidering what we we're going to do and possibly homeschooling. We had already talked about that even prior to this all taking place. So it just kind of moved us to that decision quicker. So I want to ask you, what was your reaction to the kids kind of being expelled or, or, or kicked out of the school? Did you think that that had crossed a line? Um, I do, yes, because I feel like when they came to me and asked me to not be on property any longer with my vehicles, I immediately obliged. I wasn't back on property one more time since then. And I did what I was asked, but then I felt like, um, you know, like that wasn't enough. It's like they had to like take it further. And now I feel like it was being digging on the kids because they weren't an issue. You know, their behavior, their grades, anything like that wasn't a problem. It's just simply someone didn't like my car decal. So I removed it from the property and yet it still wasn't sufficient. I want to so. finish with this, just the feedback you've gotten. I'm sure you've gotten all kinds of support mm -hmm. and critics. Oh yeah, lots of hate, lots of yeah. hate saying I'm a bad mom, that I exploited my kids for money. and. You know, I that was certainly never an intention. I'm just defending myself. I, I wasn't expecting a payout or anything like that. And I'm certainly not looking for a lawsuit and never, never the plan for me. Um, just defending and taking up for myself because I feel like it's, 
I'm, I should be able to do that. So, what, what is the lesson that you want to be the takeaway here? And how do your kids? Do your kids know what you do on OnlyFans? They do. Okay. Um, we, you know, without going into major detail, they have. We have kind of explained to them what it is because I look at it as like it, it was a risk that kids could tell them at school. They could find out somehow. So I'd much rather them hear it from me than hear it, you know, third party. Um, so, and then we kind of have had discussions about it, and that's really it. We move on. They don't really think much of it. Um, they don't really. They're not really bothered by it, like the way everybody would think that they are. You know, everyone assumes that we have this just terrible, you know, crazy upward home life, and certainly not the case. Now, well, as you know, it exploded into outlets all across the country. Michelle, mm -hmm. appreciate your time. Yeah, no problem. Thank you, Michelle. I will appreciate you. you being with us this morning.